Seven? Seven. All right. One restaurant you have to go every time you come. Oh, goodness. They changed so much, but honestly. Uh, so what's your favorite? I'm a big Sushi Samba guy, honestly. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's two for Sushi Samba that we've had. Uh, who else was it? Uh, who else was the Sushi? Hey, Michael, do you remember who the Sushi Samba was? Well, I know. I, <laughs> yeah, I know Emily. She has told me, like, Sushi Samba, yeah. absolutely, 100%. I can't hear you, Benjamin. You have to yell at me. Oh, Beth Shemansky. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, Savage Arms. Mott 32 is good. Tried that one. Really? This year. Yeah. I haven't had that one. That's amazing. Yes, Tom Victa of Palmetto State Armory, who we are brought to you by. We are brought to you by Palmetto State Armory on this Gun Talk Live. And we are talking with Jeff Carson of Aero Precision. He was Sushi Roku. Uh, and that's one place that I have to go to every year, too. I haven't tried that one yet. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh, Dave. So, like, <laughs> yes. Yes, give me all the sushi Roku. Anyway, this is uh, Restaurant Talk, brought to you by Gun Talk Live. <laughs> uh, for all your happenings in Vegas, you know, just hit me up. I'll tell you where to go. Um, no, Aero Precision. All right, cut your teeth on AR-15s. Yeah. This is not that. 180. <laughs> 180, you think? <laughs> no, not like, really. There's some similarities. Uh, okay, John Wayne wouldn't even recognize this. No, he'd probably spit at it. But yeah, he probably pretty, would. Pretty sexy. I mean, th this is everything. Like, if if you were to tell me, okay, Aero Precision's going to bring out a lever gun, what would it look like? I would probably pick this out of a lineup and say this is an Aero gun. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, because you guys have the builder sets, and you guys are known for doing not necessarily off the wall, but like the green anodizing and – uh, just the different patterns and sure. it just screams arrow. It's got to be eye catching, but right subdued. You know, you want to oh, be yeah. the pretty girl in the corner there, but you know. Yeah, they're all they're all <laughs> checking out and they're all looking at it going, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, but this is this man. This is not my grandfather's lever gun. That's for sure. Um, I have an old Winchester ninety four, like yeah. a John Wayne model, and. I'm telling you, I would kind of gravitate towards this because it's just, it just seems a little bit more modernized. You can fit it to different shooters. What is this? So um, early prototype for our lever gun. Marlin 1895. Um, Furniture is compatible with both the Marlin 1895 and the 336. Yeah. Making sure my dyslexia is not kicking in. Oh, there. yeah. But it would be compatible with both. And then um, kind of bringing in the the kind of the flair that we're known for, the parts and components yeah. piece. Um, so all the furniture would be compatible um, with that as well. Yeah. So um, with that said, you know that the target is to get the furniture out for us as we yeah. continue to develop on the internals. Yeah, and this is this is a prototype, so it's, it's, it's going to look very similar to this when it comes out. You know, there's going to be a few little changes maybe here and there, but just to get it right because, sure. you know, you never want to go with a product that doesn't, really work yeah that's a uh, recipe for disaster oh absolutely how many does it hold um i five I <laughs> yeah i think it's five it's five yeah. um I, i'm sorry i sorry. totally threw you off jeff because i was like okay now i'm gonna start talking specs well like, and you know my dyslexia right? i know yeah <laughs> it kicks in every once in a while but i was out at range day so i got the whole spiel on it so what really i kind of yeah. already know everything about it but i want to like let you guys time, know yeah. um but yeah holds five 4570? Uh, chamber to 4570 currently. Right. Um, when we go live, whether it'll be 4570, um, 3030, yep. 357, 44 mag. 44 mag. Eh, that my Ooh, 357. Yeah. Because then you could shoot 38s out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, talk about not kicking at all. Like, that would be a great gun. If you want to introduce kids to a firearm, like a lever gun, like they feel like they're old school. Yeah. So we talk about old guns, like the old lever actions, going into the new. Last year, mm -hmm. Aero Precision brought out the Solus, right. the bolt action guns. And talk a little bit about what that mean, be means because I've already built two of them. I've built two Solus actions already because I absolutely love that platform. Yeah. So, I'm, like, uh, you're familiar with it, right? But the Solus platform is built off of a Remington 700 footprint. It's going to be uh, three lug, interchangeable bolt heads, 60 degree throw, yep. all the good stuff. 
uh, integrated rail, uh, 20 MOA rail, yeah. integrated recoil lug, um, and then it uses a Savage small shank or, um, uh, excuse me, uh, Origin prefits. Yep. Uh, so you can go to any barrel manufacturer that you have a you know preference for or desire, um, but um, the idea there is is that that was going to be your your starting piece for um, the build that you wanted yeah. to bring. You know, staying true to the air which, precision customer, which right? is exactly what I did. I did that. <laughs> so we we featured it on Build Box, and this was my kind of hunting setup. It was a six five Creedmoor, Solus Action six five Creedmoor, um, but it's just smooth. Right. And it's like half the price that you would get any other action for. Mm -hmm. Like, which, how do you keep price costs down for the, the end user? Um, I mean, that's really going to be just the teams and yeah. the quality control. Um, we spent the time and resources where we needed to to get the quality that people are going to expect from a precision rifle yeah. um, and really maintain that from. BA or barrel manufacturers yep. doing 100% inspection, 100% hone and lapping, all that good stuff, bringing those barrels in along with the CMM inspection on the, the Solus receivers. Yep. Every single one is 100% inspection. It's a 15-minute cycle time. No Each kid. receiver, if you ever call us asking about dimensions, we can pull up the CMM report and make sure that you know we can give you those tolerances as it left the factory no kid. Uh, and confirm that 100 percent inspection on the bolt head so your head space and everything we we know yeah. that's going to head space as long as the barrel that you choose is to spec which most of them are yeah um yeah. and then and then just um really focusing on um the manufacturing prowess yeah. that we've built over the years oh yeah and and what's great about it what's really good about the solace action is it's not coming from the lips of guys like myself but like todd Benura of maniacal firearms or maniacal arms who built my two guns because i was like hey is it good mm -hmm. like because he works on defiant actions he, he works on all the big ones right he loves it yeah. he loves it he says they're really true um and so they're real they fit nicely yeah. and he doesn't have to do a lot of extra work which is good for him because yeah. it, it takes time out of the because there's a certain amount of machining processes that go into that right um and so your gunsmith will appreciate it your machinist will appreciate it um but you also have offer the barreled actions mm -hmm. so if you just you want your own stock which why you would want to do that if you're building a precision gun their stock their chassis yeah is awesome the competition chassis yeah so yeah. It, it was built as Action, you can buy a complete rifle or just uh, the chassis yeah or just the barrels here soon too we're going to turn no those kidding. on um and you know segueing into the barrels you know uh one of the feedbacks is you know whoa what about lightweight guys right yeah. and so if you look down at the rifle here um ba and uh bsf have worked together here and so we have the ba cores yep. with a bsf bsf sleeve uh, carbon fiber rifle so you're getting uh, considerable weight out of those barrels as well yeah and this is carbon fiber wrap like i mean that's kind of that what people mostly know is that proof research type right. you know composition mm -hmm. um but in, in kind of segueing into that you know this isn't quite the solace that you're used right. to right so this is our solace lightweight which has weight removed but this one particularly I didn't even know that. <laughs> Try to like, surprise you. From yeah, time to time. you did. You did surprise me on this one because it's a lightweight gun. Is this your stock? Uh, th this is a stock that we work with with AG Composites. So this okay. is an adjustable hunter, is yeah. what they refer to it as, um, and it's a carbon composite stock. Oh, that is. Amazing. You guys brought out the long actions, and what's funny is, is that I think it was was it Ryan Donahue, maybe Ryan Donahue, because I was like, hey. I want to build a seven PRC. Mm -hmm. That was my. This is that's my next build. I hope my wife's not watching. Oh shit! You're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> seven PRC is my next build, <laughs> um, and it's probably going to come pretty quick because I was. I love the Souls action, right. and it's lightweight. So you, I, I, I guess my other question is: is are you going to offer the kind of the original soulless action in long action? Yes, we okay. will. So if somebody wants to do something precision based and they want yeah. the rigidity of the full top rail on 
internally we believe that the yeah. lightweight in a long action is going to be probably a higher volume for us for hunters and whatnot yeah. out there and, and then giving them the platform to build their parts or somebody else's you know we've never been yep. shy to let somebody build their yeah. dream gun. well and that's <laughs> that's good that actually does segue very nicely into what we're going to talk to talk about next but arrow has built it's like all it's like world around what you want what's your what's your ideal build like, my ideal build like no just uh, anybody oh, yeah, what, okay, what yeah. is your ideal build um if you're going to build well not the lever gun well, I have a feeling you're segueing into what my perfect build would be. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm trying to get there. But, all right, what would it be? Uh, honestly, um, if I'm, <laughs> let's be honest, the M41 Pro that we're about to talk about. Because for me, it's a, it's a purpose-built, rugged um, AR rifle um, with no frills. Uh, and the, the platform that you're going to see here is, is um, a direct reflection of that, right? Yep. So. It just fell. Okay, let's 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 fix this. All right, we try to be really sneaky with this. I think it's going to stand up now. We try to be really sneaky Hands with that. Table. Michael's in the background la laughing. Everybody's laughing. I set this up trying to be sneaky with you guys, and it just fell. So that's why, <laughs> dude. Your face was awesome. Oh. Well, you know, surprises. Know. It does surprise. So the M41 Pro here is what we have. Um, this entire project was yeah. kind of born off the back of uh, Aero Precision branching into yeah. our, our aero defense line, right? Okay. So we've gone after government contracts, you know, DOE and a couple others. Yeah. Um, and something that was coming up is, is as a company that was born in the OEM space yeah. and doing things for other people, um, we built rifles that were affordable yeah. quality, but n not necessarily purpose built, right? Like right. Um, there was use cases for all of them, whether you were a competition shooter and you wanted something really lightweight, yeah. you wanted something rugged and semi monolithic, like our enhanced system. Um, but the true end user um, that's gonna rely on this for maintaining zero for laser uh, aiming devices and various other things or yeah. the discerning customer that expects full ambidextrous controls the m41 pro brings all of that well and that should be that should be standard with every gun and i think it's it, it's leaning that way right is that every gun is automatically ambidextrous um which that's mostly the aftermarket stuff that you would go apply to it mm -hmm. like that's just how it goes like right. if i'm tr switching out something i'm not switching out because it looks cooler maybe i am sometimes but it's got to be practical absolutely and yeah. i shoot so i'll shoot rifles right or left-handed mm -hmm. so this type of setup would be an ideal setup for me yeah based on your description anyways i mean yeah <laughs> i mean it, it fits the bill right yeah um so walk us through so i guess so, my one of my first questions is yeah can they will they just be able to buy the receiver as is a kind of almost <laughs> like the m4e1 it's almost like you know who we are no, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're we've always been a parts manufacturer. We always believe that the customer wants to build what they want to build, and this is no different, right? Yeah. The only difference here is there are some proprietary parts to make it ambidextrous, right. and in doing that, we're going to include those. So if you buy the receiver, it comes with the ambidextrous components, really, that you need for the mechanism okay. to function, right? Um, so if you look at the receiver here, obviously left and right hand bolt mm -hmm. controls, left and right hand mag controls, those are going to be the parts that are going to be included because that is integral to the function. Right. Right. And then from there, we have some custom takedown pins, um, a different stylistic, okay. uh, stylistically, but they're also um, elongated to allow you to get a little bit more force on the push. They got okay. a little uh, D10 like in there for, you know, if they're jammed, you can yep. use a round to I'm push in on right that. here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then the safety selector is an obvious one as well. That's a, a custom design in-house safety okay. selector. Um, Toolless installation is going to come to you with the drum with um, a spring captured, uh, okay. captured spring detents. Um, and then you just slide it through and pop the levers on. And you can take an Allen key and just so, pop it in there and pull them off. So what you're saying is it is just as easy to put together as the M4E1. Yeah, and, and if you look at it, right, it's got the form factor of the M4E1, which is why we call it the M4E1 Pro. We want people to, to have that um, kind of just, you know, <laughs> what's the easy. word I'm looking for? Um, just the recogni recognition, right? Yes. Um, yeah. Jeez. Um, 
it's it's going to have to stay there. The the floor I mean, it's just, just going to have to stay there. It's, it's because okay. honestly, we are going to move on to our next thing we're going to talk about. So really, the gun knew it was time to move on to the next segment, sure. which is on the end of the gun. Well, and one thing I do want to cover. Sorry, uh, the handguard is part of that as well. So the handguard and the rigidity of the laser aiming devices. See right there. Um, the, we increased the profile. We added uh, steel QD inserts. Yeah. We added. Um, we increased the surface area. We added internal ribbing. Uh, changed the mounting system. Made it more simple. All that stuff goes to making that uh, like a just a yeah. brick house of a handguard. This is different. Yes, all of it. All of it. Really. Is different. The extrusion profile, the barrel nut. Are the they fixed QD mounts? They are press fit fixed QD press steel fit. inserts. Yeah. Okay. I, I've hung off of it with a forklift, like really? four feet. Just oh, were you the one doing the pull-ups off of it? Yeah. I Believe it or not, I, I can do a pull-up. I was impressed that you could do a pull-up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I, di I did want to just touch on that yeah. because that no, is a, a, important. A, another really core uh, product for us. Sold separately, too? Yes, absolutely. Nice. You can get it as a uh, strip low receiver, complete low receiver, complete okay. upper receiver, I mean, handguard. What Arrow is known for. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And they all mesh together. Mm -hmm. See? All right. So transitioning to, to the you, end of the barrel. You want to move on now? Yeah. Sorry okay. about that. I just had to touch on that. Well, yeah, it's important. The suppressor, we, we launched the Lahar last year, standard size, K size, uh, elongated yep. size. Um, this one here's got the, the final design of the mantle QD system. Yeah. Uh, we had it almost designed last year, and then through some of the final testing, we noticed a couple things that we wanted to get right. Yeah. It's one things, I don't like you said earlier in the interview. You don't want to come to something that's <laughs> not proper, right? And, oh. and so, uh, a big focus on this one is reducing POI shift. Uh, the okay. way the mechanism works, it's going to be consistent suppressor to suppressor because you're tightening off the collar, not tightening the suppressor. Yeah. And so, whether or not you get the same detent on the on the tooth ring. Um, the indexing point's going to be the same, same every and time. we've minimized the POI suppressor to suppressor on the same rifle. You know what's funny is I had a buddy who just got back with me, and he said, I have a big POI. Mm -hmm. when I said, and I was like, have you tried this? Are you indexing the same every time? And I think that's what he's doing because he went from like two to like six inches like uh, of, oh. of deviation in between sure. his shots. Yeah. So that's probably what's, what's happening, and I didn't, it didn't dawn on me until that. So the mantle uh, system, we're, we're excited for that. We're still yeah. working through some production and getting some things dialed in, but it's it's pretty much almost ready to go. Yeah. And then with suppressors, unless... What caliber offerings? Uh, it's a 30 cal can. 30 cal yep. can. Okay. And then Anything else? A segue to ha. a smaller guy. Not a it I was almost, a suppressor I in my made pocket. A joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the, the new Tefra 22 can. So Tefra. it's a... Tefra. Yep. And so the design is a stacked stainless steel baffle system, complete stainless steel. Yep. So it's obviously rated for 5.7. Yep. Um, targeted low price point. Target is 3.79. Um, all steel internals. Uh, the only thing that isn't is going to be the aluminum sleeve on the outside. Okay. Um, but again, sta the entire baffle system is stacked stainless, so there's really no stress being right. imparted on the aluminum. It's uh, we, it allows us to do. You know, different colors and different things yeah. that people like. So. Oh, really? So oh, there's yeah. gonna be different colors in this? Yeah. Well, that's some what fun you stuff. guys are known for. Known yeah. for. Like you've yeah. got. If you can't do that. Like well, it's a. You know, it's nice to be able to customize the things yeah. that you like and, right. and show a bit of your personality. A little bit, yeah. I mean, but you talk about the green anodizing, like or or any of your yeah. patterns, whatever you guys do, to be able to go into and maybe get a builder set. And get the match it up, match yeah. it up with the can. <laughs> Man, that would look slick. Yeah. Plus, it's user serviceable, and yeah. so you can take it apart. Get the you know get the lead out. Twenty two, obviously, yep. right? It's, so it's it's ultrasonic safe. You know, you can just do all that. And so. it's and it's lightweight, and it's small, and quiet. Don't forget that. Well, yeah, it's all <laughs> quiet. All right. Where do they go find out more, Jeff? Um, AirPrecisionUSA.com is the website. You can check out our social media accounts uh, for any more information, or just send us a message. Yeah. Send them a message. They listen. They're good people. They do stuff their own way. That's definitely the Aero Precision way. All right, we're going to be back. There's a new gun company coming up. You're going to want to hang on for this one. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. 
You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.